Hello, everyone. Welcome back to the Aviation and Nautical Masters channel. Imagine crashing a helicopter, not as a disaster, but as a groundbreaking experiment to improve aviation safety and protect lives in future crashes. That's exactly what NASA did. They took a helicopter and deliberately smashed it into the ground, all in the name of safety. In this dramatic test, NASA researchers strapped crash dummies inside a decommissioned helicopter, lifted it to about 30 feet, and let it plummet to simulate a severe crash landing. Sensors and cameras captured every detail of the impact, gathering data to help make future helicopters safer for pilots and passengers. The process began months in advance with meticulous planning, including selecting the right helicopter, developing testing protocols, and coordinating with multiple teams to install sensors and high-speed cameras. The team at NASA spent weeks preparing the aircraft, fitting it with dozens of sensors, high-speed cameras, and specialized equipment to measure the forces experienced during a crash. Each crash dummy was equipped with sensors to measure the potential injuries a human occupant would endure. The helicopter itself was rigged with sensors that recorded everything from the structural integrity of the airframe to the behavior of critical components, like the rotor blades. When the big day arrived, a crane hoisted the helicopter high into the air. The tension was palpable as the countdown began, with scientists watching closely, holding their breath. The aircraft was released in moments, plunging to the ground with a thunderous crash. The impact was violent, with parts of the airframe crumpling under the force. High-speed cameras recorded the action from multiple angles, allowing researchers to analyze how the helicopter's structure responded. The data gathered was immense, analyzing the footage, sensor readings, facing challenges such as dealing with massive amounts of data. Differentiating between structural failures and understanding complex interactions between components during the crash. They looked at how different parts of the helicopter absorbed energy, how the crash dummies moved within the cabin, and what could be done to improve survivability. One of the key findings was that strengthening specific parts of the helicopter's structure, such as the landing skids, cabin floor, and fuselage frame could significantly reduce the risk of injury in real-life crashes. They also identified areas where improved seat restraints and energy-absorbing materials could protect occupants substantially. But it wasn't just about the helicopter itself. The test also provided valuable insights into how rescue operations could be improved. such as using specialized cutting tools to quickly access the cabin and employing enhanced communication protocols, faster coordination among rescue teams. By understanding the dynamics of a crash, emergency responders could be better prepared to extract passengers safely and quickly in the event of an actual accident.
crashes and improve safety measures by understanding how a real helicopter behaves under such extreme conditions. NASA's findings could lead to better design and more robust structures, ultimately saving lives. It's not just about breaking metal, it's about building a safer future in the skies. What do you think about these efforts? Let us know in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this breakdown of NASA's crash test, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more engaging content.